Hey everyone, so I did receive this product for my personal review. This is the Arboleaf Smart Scale, and here are the features on the back. Multiple units, tear function, calorie tracking, touch on button, nutrition facts, and the resolution. Here, I'm just gonna unbox it really quickly for you and show you how it's packaged up. It does come with batteries, which is a huge plus. You don't have to worry about buying any batteries with this. And here's the product right here itself. Very pretty, very shiny, very reflective. You can see me in the reflection of it. And it also comes with a user guide, but you won't need this in this video because I'm gonna explain everything to you. But this will come in your package if you do buy this. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and install the batteries really quickly, replace the back so we can turn it on and see how it works. It does have different units on it, grams, milliliters, ounces, pounds, I'm gonna go ahead and put this cup on here just so you can see how it works. I'm gonna take the cup off and it goes right back to zero. Now I switched it over to fluid ounce and then I'm gonna hit the tear button to make sure that I zero it back out. And then I'm going to put some milk in here where I can see how many ounces of milk. The tear function is to zero it out so that it won't include the weight of the cup. Now you can use it without the app. You can use it just fine without the app, but it does come with an app feature that you can use. And I'm gonna go ahead and download it now and show you how to use it. It's called New Fit Food. So you just go to the app store and type it in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit install. Once it installs, go ahead and hit the open button. Okay, then it's gonna open. And once it opens all the way, it's gonna ask for your permission. Go ahead and hit the allow. And then it says Android requires location to be turned on. Hit allow and then hit allow only in this app while this app is running. That's what I do. Okay, so now that we've got the app up and running, we're gonna turn the scale on. It's at zero right now. I'm gonna set the cup on here just to show you that it syncs effortlessly with the app. 0 0.2 on the scale, 0 0.2 on the app. I remove the cup and it goes back to zero. Okay, now I'm gonna put some Rice Krispies in this cup. I'm gonna go ahead and um, hit the tear button so that we can zero out the weight of the cup. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of the cereal in here. Okay, so right now it's at 0 0.2. And then it shows that on the app as well. And then, so what we're gonna do right here, we're gonna hit the button that says, what is on the scale? And then you'll hit the barcode at the top. It says, scan food barcode to quickly find food. So this is how you'll put the um, food that you eat into the app and it'll calculate it for you. Go ahead and hit allow when that pops up right there. And then the camera is gonna open to scan whatever you're trying to weigh. Okay, so there's the Rice Krispies right there. They're scanned in. And I actually took too long to do this process, so I kind of messed it up, but I'm gonna show you how to do it over again. Cause on this screen, it's supposed to be showing how much it weighs, but this, um, the scale has turned off. So you're gonna learn from my mistakes. So we're gonna start this all, all over. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up because you've already seen it. Basically putting the cup on the scale with the cereal. Go ahead and hit the scanner button. We're gonna scan the barcode for the cereal. Okay, once it pops up, hit the add. And then I'm gonna sit the cup back on here. And then as you can see, this is the screen it's supposed to go to. Um, it's supposed to show you how much it weighs. So once it goes to that, you're gonna go ahead and hit the bottom the diary and it's 54 calories it takes a little trial and effort because this is the first time that I've used this app but um, it gets easier the more that you use it so after you use it over time it'll show you like a, a graph and then it's like a profile view and then go back over here to the regular screen you can put breakfast lunch dinner or snack you can you can like categorize it 
And then also, even if you don't have a barcode to something, you can still go and find things. There are some things that are preloaded, but also you can type things in. Like for example, I'm gonna type in milk right here. And then there's like several search results that'll pop up so that you can add milk, even if you don't have the barcode for it. For example, let's just say milk is in here, 13 grams. And then it equals out to 66 calories. So all in all, I really, really enjoyed this. Definitely gonna be using this. Remember, you can use it without the app if you don't want to. This is very pretty, chic. I absolutely love it. Um, so if you guys have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thanks for watching.